Hi and welcome. I wanted to make a quick step video all along, but I wanted to show a full flight video. So if any of the steps in this video don't make sense, please check out the full flight video and tutorial with the link in the description. First, let's start the plane. Toggle the yoke. Turn bleed on. On the overhead panel, raise the crash bar. Click once on battery. Click once on generator. Click here on fuel select to auto. And click twice to turn AP trim to on. Now we just have to click the starter to on. Move the throttle to low idle. When it is in the green zone, the little white triangle here and the little white triangle here for ITT and NG, when they're in the green, move it to high idle. You should now be in high idle. When you have a flashing red on the screen with an ITT in it, now move the plane to taxi. Your plane should be in taxi. You have now started the plane. Let's explain the ILS. First step, we're going to change the active nav by clicking here. Click until it says FMS under active nav by clicking here. We now need to tune the radio. Click here under navcom. Click here under audio and radios. And then next to nav1 we've got some numbers. Left click here. And now we need to put in our number. Today it's going to be 1170. Click then on transfer. You'll notice here it's in white, 110.70, that is the active number. Now turn on the left P-TOT and the right P-TOT. And turn the parking brake off. Take the plane off the ground. Climb to 3,000 feet. Next, we need to click four buttons on the autopilot. We need to click AP, autopilot, engage. Nav, turn nav mode on. Then we need to click on alt, turn altitude hold mode on. And we need to click YD, turn your damper mode on. Next, we're going to scroll above the altitude select. We notice the altitude down here. We're going to change that number to 4000. Then we're going to click on VS, turn vertical speed mode on, and then we're going to click down here to increase vertical speed. The plane will increase to 4000 and then turn back to altitude hold mode. It will do that by itself. Examine your chart information closely. We can see at Tramp we need to be at 5,000 feet. At Flozy we need to be at 4,000 feet. And by Jackal we need to be at 1,600 feet. Check out the description of the video for the chart information. You just need to click two buttons between Tramp and Flozy. Same between Tramp and Flozy. Button one we're going to click is for active nav. We're going to change active nav to LOC1. LOC1. Button we're going to click is up here. We're going to be clicking APR, approach, APR, turn approach on. Now put your gears down and your flaps out. Try to do this below 180. The plane will take us down with the glide slope. Try to manage the speed. You can manage the speed with the throttle. It's doing a good job with the ILS so far. You should still be on the line. You're now almost there. Now all you need to do is turn the Autopilot off and hand fly it in. 
We're still on autopilot at the moment. Try and land around 85, 90 knots. Turn the autopilot off. And land the plane. Use F2 on the keyboard for the reverse. And use the wheel brakes to stop the plane. You are now safely on the ground. Taxi to parking. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed the content, maybe consider subscribing. I really appreciate all subscriptions. Also, please like and comment on the video. Check out in the description a full flight of an ILS landing in this plane as well. That may be of further assistance. This video was designed with fun in mind only. So realism was not an objective in any way, shape or form of this video. Some things may not be as in real life. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And see you in the next video. Bye for now.